evening. My name is Dr. Kelly Colley, and I'm here to share a little about the Advanced Studies Academy at the Villages High School. VHS Advanced Studies Academy allows students to pursue college-level rigorous coursework during their 11th and 12th grade years. Students qualify for the VHS Advanced Studies Academy by taking one advanced placement or dual enrollment course 11th grade year and two advanced placement or dual enrollment courses in their 12th grade year. They can also do a combination of those together. It's not one or the other. Many of our Advanced Studies Academy students are also concurrently pursuing another VHS Academy, such as healthcare, ag science, construction management, you name it. Advanced Placement is a program that allows students to take college-level coursework that have nationally recognized exams at the end of the year. There's an entire presentation that I'm doing on Advanced Placement if you want more details, but it does help them get, earn college credit in high school. The AP courses currently offered at VHS are listed there on the right. We have a variety of fine arts, science, computer science, English, fi more fine arts, mathematics, and social studies. What is dual enrollment? We are fortunate at the Villages High School that we are an early college site with Lake Sumter State College. Our students are allowed to take Lake Sumter State College courses here on the VHS campus as we share instructors between the college and VHS. The very unique thing about AP as well as DE is that the students are allowed to pursue these without any additional cost of tuition or fees to families. The current dual enrollment courses offered at the Villages High School are listed on the screen. We again have a variety of fine arts, sciences, social studies, humanities, and world language. Some additional thoughts when pursuing the Advanced Studies Academy is that AP and DE actually pair very well together. Students can begin taking AP classes as early as ninth grade, and these courses can help them fulfill requirements for their Lake Sumter State Advanced Associate of Arts degree if that's what they are pursuing. There are equivalency charts that show which AP courses correlate to which college courses. If you have more questions about the VHS Advanced Studies Academy and how you may pursue that, please contact me at Dr. Kelly Colley, VHS Vice Principal, kelly.colley at tvcs.org. Thank you. Hello, everybody. I'm Mr. Woythiller, the AgriScience Academy instructor. I'm here to talk to you a little bit about my academy and what it has to offer. The AgriScience Academy offers a sequence of course, courses that provide coherent and rigorous content, challenging academic standards and relevant technical knowledge and skills needed to prepare for further education and careers in the agriculture, food, and natural resources field. Students will learn occupation-specific skills and knowledge of all aspects of the AFNR career cluster. Each course offered has an industry certification opportunity, each with statewide articulation agreements for college credit. Students begin the program by taking agri-science foundations, where they develop competencies in areas of agricultural history and the global impact of agriculture, career opportunities, scientific and research concepts, science, environmental principles, agri-science safety, principles of leadership, agribusiness, employability, and human relations skills in agri-science. This course is also accepted as a science credit with honors weight. If a student enters the agri-science program as a freshman or sophomore, their next class will be Agri-Technology 1. This course includes competency-based academic knowledge, higher order reasoning, problem-solving skills, work attitudes, general employability skills, technical skills, and occupation-specific skills. The content includes instruction in animal and plant production, agricultural marketing, agricultural mechanics, employability skills, mathematics, basic science, biological sciences, communications, and 
Classes on campus will spend the majority of lab time in our state-of-the-art greenhouse featuring a aquaponics, hydroponics, and traditional growing media systems, or in our outside vertical garden. Student in their senior year that has taken AgriScience Foundation will be enrolled in its one and two course, which is held at the VHS Agricultural Education Annex, where our market steer project is housed. This course is designed to develop competencies in the areas of safety, animal behavior, animal welfare, animal control, digestive systems, breeding, preventative medicine, and disease control, control of parasites, animal marketing, analyzing, grooming, exhibiting, and marketing animals, as well as operation, maintenance, and repair of equipment. Students in this class will also have the opportunity to work with white-tailed deer, administering vacc vaccinations, dewormer, and antibiotics, auto feeding, rejected fawns, and placing identify uh, placing identification tags, much more. And that's all I have for you guys. Thank you for taking the time to watch, and I hope you have a great day. Welcome to the Business and Banking Academy. I'm Mrs. Sharp. I'm here today to tell you a little bit more about our academy. Your level of understanding around the fundamentals of budgeting, saving, debt, and investing will impact every part of your life. Even as a young adult, whether it's where you eat, what you buy, whether or not you travel, going out with friends, every day you are faced with financial decisions. Having basic personal financial skills is one of the most important things that you can do to live a healthy, happy, and secure life. Junior year. You will have a choice of one of two courses for the academy, the high school level of personal finance, or for those of you who qualify, there's a dual enrollment personal finance option as well. Both courses will cover the same basic material. Additionally, we have personal finance simulations, and many life's challenges throughout the course. The topics could be covered, savings and checking, credit, mortgages, auto loans, taxes, insurance, investing. And for the high school course, the college and career research project is the final exam. Senior year, you'll have two class periods and you'll meet every day. We dive into the history of banking and the daily operations of the bank. Students learn about the various products and services that financial institutions offer. Our academy would not be possible without the partnership of Citizens First Bank. Their employees, mentors, are seniors and are dedicated to investing in your future. Together, our goal is to prepare students for employment in the financial industry. Senior year, you will spend 50% of your time out on the job at Citizens First Bank or one of the business partners in and around the village's community. Our students travel to Lake Sumter Landing, Spanish Springs, Brownwood, Colony Plaza, and more. Students get hands-on experience and will see what it was like to work in an IT department, work with compliance officers, the accounting department, the marketing department, bank investments, and with financial wealth advisors. Our students learn how to analyze credit and they get to spend time directly with the lenders and see the full cycle of how a loan is processed. Seniors go through an orientation program, including being trained in the software that they will use, some of the machines that are used, and of course, confidentiality agreements that are required. Students will get to handle the ATM, process deposits from the machine, as well as handle and order for foreign currencies as needed for customers. Students work with customers to meet their personal banking needs, whether it is opening an account, making a deposit or withdrawal, 
getting into their safety deposit box. Our students do it all, really. Our students take the NACTI Business Financial Management Certification. Students who pass with a 70% or higher are eligible to submit their score to their college for consideration of three semester credit hours in business management. Additionally, we have the opportunity for our students to become certified in a variety of Microsoft products. Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, those are the most popular ones. We adhere to professional uniform standards and students are required to wear their academy polo, khakis and belt every day. Seniors have a strict uniform policy while working at the bank. Students have to wear long dress pants, khaki pants, or a skirt while on the job. Gentlemen must wear socks at the bank and no sneakers are allowed at the bank at all. Students have an opportunity to earn community service hours by staying past their normal school hours and working with their mentor. Of course, this requires mentor approval, but so far, all of our students have been able to get whatever hours they need. Citizens First Bank offers a summer internship program. Seniors who graduate the Business and Banking Academy program may apply for a paid summer internship working with the bank. They also provide working opportunities to students who would like to secure a job with them. Whether it is just for the summer or part-time or even full-time, it is a great networking opportunity and resume booster for you. The only requirement to work at Citizens First Bank is that you have to be 18 years or older, and that's just the job aspect, not the academy. If you have any questions about the Business and Banking Academy, please feel free to reach out to me in person or by email. My contact information is also on the Teacher Connection page. Have a great day. Greetings students and parents. My name is Rick Drass and I am the computer science teacher for the Villages High School. If you are taking one of my courses this year as a student or if you're a parent of a student who's taking one of my courses, you'll want to become familiar with my Teacher Connection page. So let's go there right now and take a look at it. The first thing you're going to notice on the page is a course list. These are the courses that I'll be teaching this year. AP Computer Science Principles is an introductory college level course uh, featuring the JavaScript programming language. AP Computer Science A is a little bit more advanced introductory course featuring the Java programming language. Programming Essentials is a advanced Java programming course. Database Essentials is a database development course using the SQL programming language. And Web Technologies is a course where we're going to be developing websites using HTML5 and CSS. And in this course, we're actually going to be accessing some of the databases that we created in Database Essentials. Moving down the page, you'll see my contact information. Feel free to email me right here or give me a call during business hours. As you move down the page, you'll notice that each course has its own section. As you can see here, there are two links embedded in each section. For instance, AP Computer Science A, this first link, when you click on it, will bring you to a course description page where you can read about the course in a little bit more detail. And it also shows the expectations for that course. You can navigate from there back to the main page. Also notice in that same area is a link to the Google Classroom. When you get to the Google Classroom, what you'll see is a welcome uh, message right now and the course syllabus, which is a very detailed explanation of the course deliverables. And um, there's a sheet in the back that needs to be filled out for the first day of class, which is a parent acknowledgement and student acknowledgement form. Continuing on, you'll see some important links. Uh, the first link is classroom rules. Now, it's important that you review these rules and understand them. When you click on that link, you'll see those rules. And it's important that um, you follow these rules so we can have a smooth transition this year into a new school year. There's also listed there the course supply list. These are the supplies for every student in any course. They're all exactly the same. So please um, 
come prepared on your first day of school. I'm looking forward to a good year. I'm looking forward to seeing you all. Thank you. We're back for season two of Buffalo Builders. Meet the brand new all-star crew from the Villages Charter High School who will be teaming up with Habitat for Humanity of Lake Sumter to build a home for a well-deserving family. Tune in to VNN on Xfinity Channel 2 Friday, October 15th at 6 p.m for the premiere of Buffalo Builders Season 2. Welcome to the Culinary Arts Academy. My name is John Woods and I'm the instructor here at the Villages High School. I'm going to take a few minutes now and I'm going to give you just a little bit of information about what you can expect in this academy. The Culinary Arts Academy. Um, the idea here is you're going to be in this class for two years and basically in this first year you're going to do a lot of basic things. You're going to learn how to uh, you know, wash your hands, how to saute things, how to read recipes, weights and measures, uh, basic culinary nutrition, bake shop, a lot of different concepts, all the basics in the first year. And then in the in the senior year, you'll get to choose either the culinary path or the baking and pastry path. And I'll tell you a little bit more about those as we kind of scroll through this really short presentation. So first of all, the purpose here is to provide entry level hospitality skills and knowledge. Of course, basic cooking skills for both work and at home. And then also introduce healthy cooking and eating concepts and strategies that hopefully you can take with you for the rest of your life. We are accredited by the American Culinary Federation, which does allow students in this, in this course, in this academy, to certify at a professional level. We offer the Certified Fundamentals Cook and the Certified Fundamentals Pastry Cook. We also offer, through the National Restaurant Association, the Pro Start Certificate of Achievement and the Serve Safe Certified Food Protection Manager. So all of these certifications come with um, either some kind of articulation with, with post-secondary schools and culinary schools, some come with scholarship opportunities, um, and they're all good for a certain period of time even after you graduate from this program. Uh, we do have professional uniform guidelines. Uh, we wear chef coats, uh, we wear them all day, and throughout your school day here. Uh, my suggestion is to get at least three of those and they can be purchased at custom apparel. Um, we also require long khaki pants. No shorts are allowed in this class. It's a, kind of a safety issue. And that students have closed toe, non-slip shoes. Um, that's also a safety issue. Uh, chef hats and aprons will be provided by the academy for you. And when we are in food production, they will be required. Um, I also require culinary service hours. This is in lieu of homework, so I don't offer or I don't require homework, um, but I do ask that you do six hours every nine weeks in some kind of extracurricular culinary activity. That could be a culinary service event that we're involved with. That could be you cooking at home for your family and documenting that. Uh, there's a lot of different ways to do that. Um, if you, you know, basically what it amounts to is about a test grade every nine weeks or so. Uh, we can talk more about that as you get into the academy. Um, but I am very flexible when it comes to how you can get these hours done. Um, here's a brief kind of outline of Culinary Arts One. Uh, basically, your food surf, uh, safety certification will be first. That kind of starts both year one and year two. And then you can kind of see all the basic things, knife skills, measurement and cooking methods. Uh, we get in the breakfast foods, seasoning and flavoring things, culinary nutrition, bake shop. There's a lot of different things that we do over the course of that first year, really trying to lay the groundwork for what you're going to do in your senior year. So as you go into the senior year, culinary two and three, uh, you can choose either the culinary path, which will start with a serve safe cer certification as soon as we come back to school. And then they kind of transition into operating our restaurant. So they do commercial food production and dining room service. We'll have parties each week where we'll have, you know, uh, residents come in or, or maybe some of our um, groups from around the school, like the athletic boosters, uh, and we'll prepare a meal for them. And students will, you know, work all the jobs within the restaurant and serve them. If you choose the baking and pastry path, you will also do the serve safe certification initially when we come back to school um, in August, and then you'll transition into commercial baking and pastry production, which we, we basically open up as a bakery one day a week. And what we do is rotate students through some stations where they make cookies or cakes or breads or rolls, pastries, things like that. Um, we produce about 300 pieces, individual pieces for retail sale each week. 
And the students are involved in all those aspects of the production of those things, the marketing of those things, and of course, the sales of those things as well. So that is basically culinary arts, the Culinary Arts Academy in sort of a nutshell. Um, if you have any other questions or anything that, you know, I haven't covered here or anything like that, please, you know, reach out to the teacher connection page. You can email me. Uh, you can call the school. You can stop by my room, you know, once school starts, if you want to know something more about it, um, I'm trying to be as veiled, available as often as I can. So thank you so much. And I hope you have a great day. In the Digital Media Design Academy, students learn about various aspects of the field. This includes print media, like newspapers and magazines, digital media, like online journalism, broadcasting, advertising, and public relations. Much of the school year is also devoted to compiling and developing the school yearbook, as well as producing daily announcements for campus. Students' communication skills will be reinforced through their junior and senior year English courses. The Digital Media Academy provides students with the opportunity to unite their creative abilities and communication skills through the exploration of writing and photography, as well as videography and digital design. The students will learn photography, layout and design, and interviewing skills. The students also learn to use various Adobe programs, including Photoshop, InDesign, Illustrator, Audition, and Premiere Pro. They are able to receive industry certifications for each of these programs that they test on. A large part of Digital Media Academy consists of producing the school's yearbook, The Pride. The students construct a yearbook theme from scratch that the staff focuses on throughout the year. The yearbook covers all school events, athletics, academies, and clubs. This in-depth look at the year gives students the opportunity to become more involved with VHS as well as its students and staff. Creating the yearbook allows students to perfect their media skills, including photography and interviewing, to use in the future. Students will also be able to be a part of various video production projects on campus, including football games and other school-hosted events. These events allow students to learn hands-on in real-world environment that will prepare them for careers in media. The jobs that are essential to the Digital Media Academy require dedication and time management. However, the end product is worth all of the hard work. Hi, my name is Liz Nisbet, and I am the engineering teacher here at the Villages Charter School. The Engineering Academy is a two-year elective that students can take um, as their junior and senior years. And so the goals of uh, the academy are to introduce students to the different fields of engineering, to use the engineering design process when using uh, and approaching problems, to develop critical thinking ski uh, skills and to work together as a team, and also to earn an industry certification, which is the AutoCAD Certified User Certification. Junior year. Um, this class starts with uh, engineering principles and problem solvings. And so students learn about an introduction to engineering. They learn about the engineering design process. We really focus on how to work well as a team. We look at mousetrap cars, egg drop um, devices, and um, build, uh, simple machines, uh, mechanical advantage, and Rube Goldberg. We then move into some mechanical engineering. We look at prop cars, we look at catapults, trebuchets, robotic arms. Uh, we look at lifting mechanisms and ma um, maximizing a mechanical advantage using simple machines. We'll next move into electrical engineering where we'll build and analyze various circuits using breadboards and micro bits. We'll learn how to solder and we'll also program a microprocessor to complete various challenges. Our last unit is using ArcGIS, which is a mapping software that we can use to um, for urban planning. We can look at trends and all sorts of different things, but that can be useful with like civil engineering and urban planning. Senior year starts off, and senior year is a two-period elective um, in the day. Uh, students, uh, we start with a remote control robot unit, so we play re uh, remote control soccer, which is the video on the right, and we also uh, play baseball, and basically the students are given a challenge each week, and they have to redesign their robot to meet the challenge of that particular robot. Um, 
So uh, then we move into our AutoCAD unit where students are unit learning how to use AutoCAD to create drawings and diagrams and they take their industry certification. We also use AutoCAD to redesign um, uh, earbud holders in the, shown in these pictures and they uh, design those uh, using AutoCAD and then we 3D print them in class using the 3D printers that we have. We then move into aerospace engineering and we look at different kinds of rockets. We look at straw rockets, solid uh, water rockets, solid fuel rockets as shown here. Um, each of those rockets gets progressively bigger, faster, and we look at how to maximize uh, flight time, how to make them go faster. Uh, we design recovery systems and look at various different features of those rockets. We're currently in our civil engineering unit, and so students are looking at uh, basic civil engineering principles. We're currently building bridges to make them hold as much weight as possible. Uh, we'll also build strongest towers and then also earthquake buildings in this unit. We'll then move into green engineering where we look at solar powered cars and wind turbines and how to maximize their efficiency. Uh, we do take a break from all the different kinds of engineering to do a cardboard rope project. This is probably the favorite project of the seniors each year. And so they uh, look at the buoyancy uh, required to hold up their team members and then they design a boat to float. It's made of cardboard and packing tape or duct tape and that's it. No paint, um, nothing kind of waterproofing. Uh, it is just cardboard and tape that they hold together. Uh, sometimes we have some submarines and sometimes they're pretty successful. Uh, so the students take the, we take those to Laurel Manor, Manor and we test those in about April. The end of the senior year is the senior engineering design project where they have the students get to pick a, pro a topic of their own choosing in the field of civil, mechanical, electrical, or green engineering, and then they uh, kind of propose a problem, and then they go through the whole, whole problem-solving process. Uh, they have to make a proposal. They have to resource and budget it. They're designing it. They have to build a model in AutoCAD. Then they'll construct it, test it, redesign, and then they'll present those to the class. Um, some questions that I get, uh, yes, we do do math in engineering. It's not crazy math, it's just algebra, but we do do math sometimes. Um, students sometimes think they have to pick an academy or dual enrollment, and that's not the case. I have a lot of students who are actually dual enrollment students or AP students, and they're in my academy. I also have kids that are in band, and they're in an, their academy as well. So you don't have to um, kind of pick one or the other. Uh, you, you just need to kind of creatively schedule and look at what classes you want or need. Uh, if you are a student who's trying to, or you're, if your student is trying to get their AA, um, then uh, it, sometimes it takes summer classes in order to take an academy and do uh, the AA, but some students uh, through the miracle of AP classes and AP credit can do that without summer classes. Uh, we do have really fun equipment in here. Uh, we have robots, we have the Glowforge laser printer that we use for uh, modeling uh, new parts of our uh, catapults and trebuchets, and we have four 3D printers. Uh, also right here, this is a wind tunnel that we use to test rockets. If you have any questions, please contact me at elizabeth.nisbet at tvcs.org. I'm also in my classroom. If a student wants to stop by, I'm here in room 136 every day. Thank you so much. My name is Shelley Warren and I'm the dance instructor and Golden Girls Spirit Squad director here at the Villages High School. If your student is interested in taking dance, we have a variety of opportunities available to them. They may choose to take dance as an elective, as an academy focused class, or as a performance based class if they become a member of our varsity or JV Golden Girls Spirit Squad. If they're interested in taking dance as an elective, we offer dance techniques levels one through four. In this class, they will not only have the opportunity to perform live in front of an audience throughout the school year, but they will also learn movement, terminology, and history in the following genres, ballet, modern, contemporary, jazz, and hip hop. If students are interested in taking dance to the next level, they may also choose to focus on dance as their academy course. Those students would then take dance classes early on in their high school career as an elective, and then their senior year, our dance choreography and performance honors course would be available to them. In this class, those students are going to learn about the choreographic process and what takes place behind the scenes to be able to prepare a dance for a live audience, whether it be for video or for an actual stage. With our dance choreography and performance course, these students are also going to be able to focus on the portfolio creation or choreography reel to help them in the application process for the collegiate level. 
If students are interested in taking dance as a performance-based course, they would then need to audition to become a member of our Golden Girls Spirit Squad. For those auditions, they take place each spring to be able to prepare us for the following season. Golden Girls Spirit Squad members not only take dance class, which is available during the day, but they also commit to take to being in our practices after school in order to prepare them for the many live performance opportunities that we have throughout the season. Our Golden Girl Spirit Squad members represent the Villages High School not only at the state, regional, and national level competitively, but also at our basketball and football games here on campus in addition to any spirit raising opportunities that may arise throughout the season. We hope that you might be able to find a dance opportunity that fits into your schedule and you may be able to join our dance program here at the Villages High School for the 2021-2022 school year. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Ms. Swarner and I'm the VHS Fine Arts Music Academy teacher. Here in the Fine Arts Academy, you will participate in one or more of the various ensembles available to students here and attend a class specifically curated uh, each year to prepare your graduating class with the tools, connections, and skills needed to successfully step into a life in the fine arts. In this academy, you will have various performance opportunities, access to private lessons, and the opportunity to create a personalized plan to get you ready for your next chapter. This includes audition help, deadline trackers, and knowledgeable advice about the industry. Other activities covered in the class are resume building, networking, script writing, solo performing, basic piano skills, sound effects, and filmmaking, and so much more. I would love to have you all join us in the VHS Fine Arts Music Academy. Please feel free to email me with any questions at hannah.warner at tbcs.org. Go Buffalo. Good evening, parents. I'm here to talk to you about the 3D art courses that are available to your student. Um, my name is Miss um, Heathman. I am the 3D art teacher. I teach all courses that involve three-dimensionality. So I teach a uh, about five courses. So your son or daughter, if they choose the 3D art course, will have me all four years of high school. Um, hopefully what you see on the screen now is the course selections that are available to you, are available to your son or daughter. Uh, some of them, depending on what grade level your son or daughter is in, they've probably already taken some of these, but I put them up because they are also available as electives if they choose not to have 3D art as their, um, as their academy. So a couple changes for next year is students after they take their 3D art course, they will have a little bit of flexibility. In the past, they've always gone right, gone right to Ceramics 1 but um, they're starting this next school year, those that are going into 10th grade and they wanna continue along the 3D art track will be able to choose either the ceramics one or the sculpture one. And then they can, after that, they, there'll be a little bit more flexibility in their courses. So if they took ceramics one their sophomore year, their junior year, they can either choose to take ceramics two or sculpture one. And then the other course that they take or that they hadn't taken, they'll take their senior year with either the new course, which is the Portfolio Development 3D Honors, or the AP 3D Art. Those two courses are relatively the same. The 3D, or the AP 3D Art course is going to be definitely be um, more rigorous. There's going to be a lot of work that gets submitted to College Board through a digital uh, portfolio. The Portfolio Development 3D Honors will be run very similar, but there won't be as many projects that are um, completed, and there's not that digital portfolio that's submitted to the College Board, but they'll still create a portfolio that they can use if they want to go somewhere in the art field. They'll have some a body of work that they can showcase to um, admission staffs so that they could possibly study art in college as well. If you ever have any questions, feel free to contact me here at the school. Uh, again, my name is Liz Heathman, or Elizabeth Heathman, um, and I teach all the 3D art courses. Thanks. Hi there. My name is Jordan Kelly. Uh, many of you probably know me as Jordan Linhart. Um, next year, we are completely restructuring the whole 2D art program, which is very exciting, but it'll look a little different than things have looked previously. Um, so next year, my freshmen will start out taking 2D art 1, which is the same as all the freshmen have currently been taking. 
Um, the following year, so their sophomore year, they will be taking a class called 2D Art 2, um, which is going to be similar skill level to Drawing 1, but will encompass more mediums. Um, their junior year, so next year, you can pick from any of the following four classes. Um, they can go in any order. I would recommend that as a junior, you take either 2D Art 3 Honors, um, which will be a higher level skill class, but it has a little bit slower pace so that you can start um, developing a portfolio if you plan on going to an art college. Um, or you take Portfolio 1 Honors with a Drawing Focus, or you may take Portfolio 1 Honors with a Studio Focus. Um, all three of those classes are honors level classes. You could pick any one for your junior year to count as your elective. Um, the difference between the classes would be the 2D Art 3 class. I know it's a mouthful. Um, I'm going to give you projects. I'll give you guidelines. It'll be similar to what we've done with our time together thus far if you've been one of my students the last two years. In the Portfolio 1 classes, I'm giving you due dates. You are picking the topics. You are picking the mediums. Um, you are kind of guiding your own projects. I'd give you a rubric and kind of some guidelines to stay within, but you have a lot more of a studio class during those two classes. Um, the difference between the portfolio classes, because there is two options for portfolio, one has a focus in drawing, the other has a focus in studio art. Um, with studio art, you painting, um, collage, printmaking, it has a couple more mediums involved in it. Um, and then finally, I also offer AP art. Um, for the AP art, I would recommend doing it your senior year, um, just so that you have your junior year to kind of start working towards um, building that portfolio and getting some pieces to count towards your AP art um, submission, portfolio submission. Um, the AP class is worth college credit if you get a three or higher on the final portfolio submission. Um, there's no big test or anything at the end of the year. Your test would be submitting your portfolio of artwork that you have spent your high school career making. Um, if you have more questions or any um, comments, concerns, or anything to do with the um, courses that are being offered next year, please feel free to send me an email at jordan.lenhart at tvcs.org, and I would be happy to answer and talk with you. Thank you so much. The Fitness and Coaching Academy is geared towards students who have a passion for exercise and lifelong fitness. Students who choose this academy have the unique opportunity to pass on their love of fitness by creating connections in the real world setting that truly make a difference in the lives of others. Students in the Fitness and Coaching Academy work towards their NASM CPT industry certification. NASM certifications are in great demand by facilities that employ personal trainers primarily because NASM sets high industry standards for education and expertise. In fact, many gyms prefer to see this certification when you apply for employment. The certification exams require you to have a broad and thorough base of knowledge, including anatomy and physiology, kinesiology, and the science and psychology of human movement. During their junior year, students begin working toward their NASM CPT certification. Each student is equipped with their own personal NASM online learning portal that grants them access to the course content and study materials. Our Academy course takes a well-rounded approach, giving you the academic knowledge in the classroom while also providing the practical opportunities you need to perfect your skills. Students spend time learning in six different modules, including professional development and responsibility, client relations and behavioral coaching, basic and applied sciences and nutritional concepts, assessment strategies, exercise techniques and training instruction, and program design. Students practice and apply what they are learning in the classroom while spending time in the physical activity setting a few times a week. It is highly recommended that the students are concurrently enrolled in anatomy and physiology during their junior year. This will only aid in the understanding of difficult course concepts. The NASM coursework is extremely challenging. Students interested in this academy must be prepared and willing to study for the difficult module exams. All students are provided with a variety of instructional techniques and learning materials to help set them up for success in this program. Students will spend the first several weeks of their senior year reviewing and practicing concepts and will then sit for their NASM CPT certification exam at some point during the first quarter. Senior Academy students will have the amazing opportunity to shadow an intern two to three days a week at MVP Athletic Club and other area gyms. 
Students will be working alongside and learning from some of the most talented and dedicated trainers in the area. During this time, students will be given the opportunity to shadow personal training sessions, build and lead group workouts, practice administering assessments, take group exercise classes, and interact with others while building rewarding, lifelong relationships. Students will sharpen their communication, interpersonal, and problem-solving skills as a result of this experience. The relationships and experience gained during this time may open a door to employment opportunities with our industry partners. Upon completion of this program, students will have the knowledge and skill base needed to pursue employment in this field. Whether it be a lifelong career path or a part-time job during college, the career opportunities that exist for personal trainers are varied and plentiful. Students can choose a traditional gym setting, physical therapy office, or provide virtual training sessions. The number of people requiring the services of personal trainers is growing by the day. Not only are the opportunities vast, but job security is virtually guaranteed by America's obesity epidemic. What is it they say? Do something you love and you'll never work a day in your life? Imagine waking up every day feeling like you get to fulfill a purpose instead of just go to a job. Imagine knowing that what you do improves someone's health, quality of life, personal relationships, and affects not just your client, but their spouse, their children, and their entire network of people. Can you imagine feeling like your job isn't work, but a great honor and opportunity every single day? If so, join us on our learning journey in the Fitness and Coaching Academy. Welcome parents and students to my Teacher Connection page. I'm Jose Rodriguez and I teach graphic arts. Here you will find information about the courses that I teach. This will be my 17th year now here at VHS. I'm looking forward to meeting everybody. There's a lot of exciting things going on with graphic arts. It's constantly changing. If you need to contact me with any questions or concern, feel free to email me. Once again, welcome and have a great day. My name is Jennifer McNeil. I am the instructor of the Health Science Academy at the Villages Charter High School. Um, I'm going to hand it over to my seniors so that they can give you a little information about the academy and all it has to offer. Hello and welcome to the Health Science Academy. The first year juniors, your focus is primary medical terminology and anatomy and physiology as it relates to healthcare. Senior year, you will have the opportunity to test for three industry certifications that will allow you to obtain a job in healthcare. The first is the Certified Patient Care Tech, CPCT. The second is Certified Medical Administrative Assistant, CMAA. And third is a CET, Certified EKG Tech. CPCT is the hands-on aspect and CMAA is geared more towards non-patient care. One of the requirements for the Health Academy is to want to pursue a career in the medical field in the future. Another requirement is you have to be a junior who has either taken anatomy and physiology and chemistry or will be taking it your junior and senior year. You also learn how to be a certified patient care technician. This includes learning how to provide basic patient care like bathing and feeding, distribu distributing and administering patient care supplies, accommodating patient needs, obtaining EKG readings, and monitoring vital signs. You also have to include emotional support to family and friends of the patients. One of the three certifications you're able to receive in the Health Science Academy is your CET. As a certified EKG technician, you are awarded the credibility to decipher EKG strips like this one here. Being able to decipher EKG strips is able to show you any underlying conditions the strip might present, such as arrhythmias and abnormal heart rhythms, and those underlying conditions are presented right here through these leads. One other certification you get the chance to receive in the Health Science program is the CMAA. It is a Certified Medical Administrative Assistant. In this cert, you answer phone calls, greet patients, schedule appointments, verify insurance info, and prepare daily charts. In your second year of health sciences, you get to experience the ins and outs of the medical field as you job shadow different clinical sites. A few examples of the clinical sites we go to are animal hospitals and can range from different specialty centers like podiatry, neurology, physiotherapy, and many more. 
We attend clinicals twice a week, usually during your morning or afternoon class. You get to be hands-on and interactive with the staff and any of the patients that you are working with, and you get to shadow during the time period. You leave for clinicals during your block period, whether it's at the beginning of the day or the end of the day, but you have to get back before your next class starts unless it's at the end of the day. We then learn the basic responsibilities of being a medical assistant. So today we're going to be discussing clinical dress code and also transportation. For a clinical dress code, we must be in our navy blue scrubs provided by the school, which have the TVH as Health Academy logo on it with also our names embroidered. We must also wear tennis shoes of a solid color and our hair must be neatly pulled back and nails must be manicured. As some may wonder, transportation to clinicals is our responsibility. You may drive yourself or a fellow classmate or family member may take you to and from. Transportation is not provided. One of our requirements is obtaining our CPR certifications with basic life support. For these reasons, anyone looking into the healthcare field should take advantage of this great opportunity. Whether you are going to clinicals or getting new certifications, you are sure to have a great experience in this academy.